All right, everybody, this is Sheets, and I have uh, Michael, a.k.a. Brave Jayhawk, here. To, we're going to go over what happened in week uh, seven and then preview week eight. Um, and again, we don't talk about what we what we have beforehand, although, uh, in fairness, we cheat a little bit because we knew what we were rooting for at the end, at least at the end of last week. Um, so I will go over my stuff first. I'll go over how I did last week, what I have left, and then we'll go over Mike. Um so we, we, we realized uh, we, we, we increased equity together and we also uh, actually realized some equity last week. Uh, for those of you who are following along, I was down to two people in the, in the nitrogen pool and uh, we talked about which way I was going to go. And I was between uh, taking Tampa or playing uh, somebody else. And, uh, there was, and we figured out there was just literally no reason to take the risk of to fade Tampa um figure we get them later so i took tampa and then as predicted the uh opponent also took tampa and tampa went down so we ended up uh, chopping it up for 2.4 bitcoin which over the last three days have already increased in value so uh so i uh, hope i can cash that out somewhat soon because i can't take any more volatility but i don't want to know what bitcoin is so yeah exactly the price. I, I've got that out of my life for right now yeah. i still have it but i'm I'm trying to forget about so, it. So, so all good news about 47, 48, dollars plus or something like that. So, really, really good news for me. Um, and that got completely, you know, so that that pool is 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 now over. Okay. Um, I'm alive in one other single pick pool. Uh, I went uh, actually it's a hybrid. It's single pick, provided there are a certain amount of people left. And I went Miami in that one and uh, watched uh, all the Tampa's watch all the Tampa's go down on Sunday and then watch all the New England's go down on Monday. And that one is down to 104 people uh, paying about 450,000 for first. So that's uh, so that's, so that's good news. And that's what I have left, but um, let's, let's talk about the fun stuff. Let's talk about what, uh, what, what Mike's, what, what Mike's, what Mike's doing is I already know, but uh, give us a summary of your week and where we're at. Uh, I mean, truly an unbelievable week. Um, back to back weeks, really. It, it it almost it almost couldn't have gone better. Um, out, outside of having to uh, not unnecessarily sweat some of these games that I picked, um, the front end of the slate was magical. Um, you know, I, I know I know early slate games last two weeks, and there's nothing like seeing upsets fall in the morning when you have afternoon games. Um, I uh, I have my notes from last week, and my my number one pick I said was the Chargers, especially if you had already taken uh, you know some of the other teams like Baltimore, <laughs> Cincinnati, Dallas. Luckily, we I did not take any of the Chargers. I really wanted to. Um, if if it was my if it was my decision alone, I I would have taken the Chargers in Circa for sure. Uh, but my two partners, they both didn't they, – they they edged the Chargers out. We actually all had three completely different leans. Um, I think I think our t each of our top twos were unique to the, uh, the everyone else's leans. So we, we had we just did a compromise and luckily that knocked out the Chargers. We went one Las Vegas, one Miami. Um, there's 125 left. We have two entries. Let's go. Um, Let's go. We, have the, we don't have the, we, we don't have the strongest, but we have among the the strongest entries remaining. Uh, one person has six entries left. Um, they've 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 gone the same team every single week, so they have six. Um, I mean, actually the same yeah, so they have they have six identical entries. So they Correct. they have max you know flexibility. Let's put it that way. Um, he. Uh, the only not flaw, but luckily he t he's taken Philadelphia. So that uh, yeah. outside of that, his entries are extremely strong. Um, but luckily for me, he has taken Philadelphia. There's a hand handful of people or two. You have no idea how many people have multiple accounts with friends, but uh, 125 <laughs> left. We have two. Okay. Um, so in, in amazing shape there. Uh, in the other pool I do with, with, uh, partner I've been working with for eight years, we've won this pool twice in the past. Um, it's single picks, but if there's more than one left at the end of the season, you go to the playoffs. Ooh, if, you that's haven't, fun. if you haven't used it, if you didn't use the team during the regular season, you can use them twice in the playoffs. Otherwise you can use them once. Um, 
Okay. We won it one year by double picking New England in the playoffs. Uh, we're the only one to save them. We made we 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 made a save and then we won the rest. I think we made two saves and then won the rest. Uh, that was the year that Russell Wilson did, threw that interception on the goal line. That that, that got us the last I don't know mm-hmm. ten twenty thousand or so. And then uh, I chopped it with another one of my friends a few years ago. We both took New Orleans in the first round of the playoffs. New Orleans lost, and we chopped it up. Um, we have three entries left out of 28, yeah. um, starting at 1,100. And how many, are uh, left? how many left are in the tournament? Tw- 28, and we have three entries. 28 remain, okay. We're, incredible. We're in an incredible position in that. No, no one has duplicate entries. Nice. Um, and uh, – well, I'll talk about my strategy for that one later. Yep. And then in my last one, uh, we started 21,000 roughly. Um, we are down to 128. Um, I have four entries left. Um, one of my poker gambling friends has nine. Someone else has four. And the, uh, the epic entry that we discussed yeah. last week fell. Um, we ah. took uh, – <laughs> He took Denver and I told you, you I wouldn't even swap one for eight. No. <laughs> he did. He, yeah, he did. He did not deviate from uh, his strategy. And yeah. uh, well, it yeah. was uh, I'll, I'll definitely remember uh, his run. He, uh, yeah. It was very memorable. Um, yeah. it, it just, you know, just got lucky. We, we, we got off New England completely. Um, one, one of the, you know, the fishier things that I do is if I if I feel very strongly about a t- uh, fading a team in one. I just like to full fade them, um, and that worked out really well. None of us wanted New England in the circuit pool. Uh, I, I just thought they'd be way, you know, just heavily, way too heavily picked. Um, I want, I wanted nothing to do with it. Um, they all, they, my partners both agreed. So then we full faded and everything else, and they ended up being very high, highly picked. My other stuff as well, like thir- thirty-seven and forty-five percent. I was, I was pretty surprised. I was shocked. Actually, no, I was shocked. Well, you know what? I, you know what? You know what, Mike? We talked about that last week. You know, we, we that was one of your not trepidations, but you're like, I just don't believe that that Miami is going to be so low picked, and I don't believe that New England's going to be the side picked. It's they they did it though, man. They 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 yeah. they, they just they just rode Belichick right right into. You know what I mean? They wrote the narrative right into right into submission. You know what I mean? And I mean, what I what I did was uh, one of my friends sends me the pick break. His pool locks on Wednesday, um, so he sent me. I'm not even in the pool. He sent me his that pick breakdown, and it, you know, it, it was more or less, you know, identical, at least close to what it ended up being for all these other pools. Circa locked on Saturday, um, and I'm like, well. I mean, it's just it's just hard not to believe that this is what it's actually going to be. I mean, we should just take no New England. Um, so you know, you know, not handicapping games over here. I just you know, you know, we just got completely off of them. I, I have plans for New England anyway in Circa, so I didn't want to use them for other reasons. Um, but once you saw, you know, the, those projections and some of the other bulls that you know were locked. Uh, I mean, it, that was it was just a mandatory layoff at that point, so, so, and it's worked out. So what we're so what we're what we're gonna do, and, and this I kind of told everybody this is the way it was gonna be when we started week one, is that at some point during the season it, it it comes to a point where we say, okay, these are the teams that look good, but you probably don't have this, you probably don't have this, and and each. So we're at this point where where the advice is unfortunately going to be not like in a general sense. In other words, I can't very well we can't very well advise to like a whole group of people because we don't know what they pick. And we don't want to give individual advice for everybody. So we're going to go through like in general, like like what what picks look good or whatever. And then for, for, for fun, we'll spend time talking about our own particular strategies, you know, given kind of what we have left, because you know, that's that that it is somewhat somewhat instructive. And it's actually kind of cool. The fact that neither, neither of us are in the same pool. So there's no like issues of me knowing what you're doing and you knowing what yeah. I'm doing and stuff like that. So so it's kind of fun. So it, as usual, again, I'm, I'm pulling up the uh, the survivor uh, survivor grid. And the other thing to remember is that as you get to this late not this late but it actually is sort of late in the season given the fact that 95 percent of the people are out you know yeah. that, that the, mm-hmm. the less people that are in the less reliable the the ownership projections are right um Correct. just because the way of law of large large numbers work but nonetheless we're going to start with again ranking these teams by ev and we're just going to start you know in, in general and this is the way i'm, I'm kind of handling it um and i'm going to i'm going to do this so first of all 
Sure. Uh, if you have Buffalo available, they are they are a high EV play. But again, we got to continue to be pure. Is that they have just so much more value elsewhere during the season, uh, pretty much every week, right? Uh, yeah. spe- specifically weeks like fourteen. Um, uh, God forbid you could save them for eighteen. You know, there's all all kinds of stuff you could do with Buffalo to the point where the only reason you would ever play Buffalo in a week this week is if somehow you like burn Philly, burn Dallas, you know what I mean? That you just have nothing that you can play. Um, but even though they're ranked the highest EV, they're just way, they're way too much future value. The, the three teams, at least for me, that I want to talk about uh, are the next three on the list, and that would be Philly, Dallas, and Atlanta. Those are three totally different plays, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna go first and talk about these. Then you can talk yeah. about any other things you might want to do. So, so Philly – um, they, they're a very, very high EV play. And as far as, as far as future value goes, if you can get away with saving them now in eight, for example, then you could make the case that you, that you could really use them in 10. Right. Um, but, but, but advanced kind of like weird weirdness and mapping. I mean, you look at this, say, boy, do I really want to save them for 10? I could use Kansas City in 10, but then if you use Kansas City in 10, then then 15 might become difficult. You know what I mean? Or or whatever it is. So so it is kind of an interesting call of what you do with Philly. They do have a very, very high EV. So I'm certainly not going to 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 kill you if you play Philly. And this is actually one of my two options in my single pick pool that I'm struggling with in order to play Philly or somebody else. Um Dallas, uh on the, the next best EV team that I think is playable, they you know, look, decent EV this week, but but for me, I mean, I would much prefer to save them for 14, where they're just basically the nuts. And considering that I don't have Buffalo available, you know what I mean? Like Dallas is just – and we talked about this back when I burned Buffalo. I'm like, listen, you're going to burn Buffalo. Make sure you save Dallas for 14, you know? And then, yeah. So I'm going to be uh, true to that, and there's just no way that I could possibly play Dallas this week. Um, I imagine that the people, the 30% of the people playing them this week are either dumb – or they have Buffalo available for 14. That's the only thing I could think of, but 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 who knows? Um the 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 one that I kind of struggle with is is this is this one is this Atlanta play. Um yeah. Um because if I can get away with that, right? Listen, obviously they're lower EV, they're lower winning chances and all of it. And also obviously they have no future value. If I can get away with that, then I can get pretty much everything I want. You know, that, that then I could push push Philly to 10 if I feel like it, then I could push, you know, then, then if I play Philly in 10, then I can save Kansas city for 15. I could save Tampa for 17. There's all kinds of stuff that if I in fact can get away with getting Atlanta through this week, it certainly helps. So it is kind of a pure decision, you know, and like what's more important immediate EV or, or overall future value. And it's like, you know, I'm, I'm a, I'm, I, maybe I'm 70% what I want to do, but I'm, I am struggling with that particular decision. So for me, for my pools, these are literally the only three, three teams. I, for me, it's literally only Philly and Atlanta that are in play. Okay. But tell, tell me what you think of those three teams in general, and then tell me how, you know, what, what, what teams appeal to you for your particular format. Mm-hmm. I spent a lot of time on this uh, the last few days, right, right after, uh, I, uh, New England lost. I got really excited. Um, I, I, I doubled my – more than doubled my EV across all my pools. Um, and, and that's when I, I told my friends I, when I went to sleep on Monday – it sounds corny, but yeah, that, that feeling to it. That I yeah. felt like I was one of the chip leaders of the main event yeah. on day three. Yep. Um, you know, I, I, got, I got a really – you know, m- moving days coming up on – you know, you're in the money. It's, it's time to start uh, building your stack. A lot of, a lot of the small stacks are – you know, you're going to get knocked out that, that hung around. And there's two ways to go about it with the way this is set up. Um, you, you play a little, a, a tiny, just a tiny bit conservative to set up a strong end game or you really go for it. And there's, there's merit to both. Um, when I woke up Tuesday and when I spent some time mapping um, yesterday and this morning, my lean was for my for my pools. I, I'm speaking specifically to the circuit pool okay. where we have the the Thanksgiving slate. That that's where I've concentrated most of my energy on. Um, I, I have the other two that I'll get to. Is 
I want to, I, I just want to go for it. And if, if I had to pick right, right now, I was going to pick uh, between Atlanta, Jacksonville and Seattle. And, you know, on the surface, you know, my, my friends were asking me and, you know, they thought, Oh, why would you do that? Or, or, or like, why would you do it for both of them? And I said, well, listen, you know, every way I've looked at this with who I've taken, and my entries are extremely strong. They are, they are not the best entries, but they are very, very strong. I have the core teams you need to have to feel confident at the current spreads are Baltimore, Buffalo, Dallas, Kansas City, and Philadelphia. Minnesota is a, is a really nice bonus, and I have them. The seventh one, who I do not have, is Cincinnati. Um, by having Cincinnati, it allows you to be a lot more conservative this week because then you can play Cincinnati at night. A lot of these teams overlap with one another on the play on their playability across the next four weeks and then the last four weeks of the season. So once you use one of them, you have a lot less options available on those other weeks. And simply, you're going to run out of run out of strong picks. Um, when I mapped my course through for Circa, especially with the Thanksgiving slate, at some point at current spreads, I'm going to have to take a four-point favorite anyway. And my entry is super, super strong. So the choice is, do I want to do it right now or and get it over with? Or do I want to do it a little bit later and hope, you know, something, you know, comes to the surface? Um, and that, that's really the, that's really the decision. I, you know, I lean more towards getting it over with um, because if I get it over with now, it'll be a lot stronger. Um, and, I, and I mean, keeping all of my Buffalo, yeah. Philadelphia and Dallas, um, the longer you keep it, it, the longer you keep those teams the stronger the hammer is going to be when you drop those teams down on, on the rest of the field. Um, I spoke with one of my partners today for an hour and a half, and we looked at it from a couple different angles, and the only team I'm willing to play outside of the three- and four-point favorites is Dallas. Um, and, and, and Buffalo, like, 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 like Eric said, way too many spots to use them, and – they're like 13, 14 point favorites on Thanksgiving. Um, Philadelphia, they, they got eight, nine, 10, and they got 15, 17, 18. There's just way, there's so many spots for those teams. But Dallas, if you don't use them now, once you get to 13, you have to use them there or 14, or you're just not going to, or there's a good chance you're not going to use them. And that doesn't mean that you shouldn't do that. It's just that that's how I'm weighing the playability of those three teams. And, you know, if Dallas is going to have the least value late end of the season, then I prefer to take them now. The problem is, I'd I'd like to hear your opinion on this. Dallas, I think, is going to be super chalk. Not, you know, really for almost every single pool, especially Circa. I, I, I. have a, I, I just think everyone's going to – everyone that has Buffalo available is going to be hoping to, to play Buffalo there on Thanksgiving. And if they don't have Philadelphia, they're going to feel like they have to drop Dallas now unless they have the nerve to drop down to Atlanta, Seattle, Indianapolis, Jacksonville. Um, so we are be- – uh, we still got to talk to my other partner. We haven't told him what we thought. Um, I think the play is double Dallas for us or one Dallas and one. I actually think it's not even Atlanta, Eric, because when we map, when you, when you got to take 20 winners, you you just want to, we want to have as many options as possible. And, and Atlanta came up twice as a semi possibility for us in 11 and 13. Um, but the, the key is when you're thinking about your pick for this week, even though we're, you're down probably to three to five percent of the field, this thing's not over in three weeks. It, I, I mean, it, I mean, look at the teams that people are going to be taking the next three weeks. It, it, there are multiple ten point favorites in eight, nine, and ten, and the the vast majority will be on them, and they're not all and they're not all going to lose. So you need to have something for later. 
Um, otherwise, you're going to get there and you're going to be empty. You're, you're going to have an empty bag. Um, I'll, I'll, that, I'll leave it uh, back. I, th I think I, so. My 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 one um, uh, my my critique uh, would be just going back to what I said about Dallas before is that um, is that Dallas is going to be burned a little this week. Um, if they, if, 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 but not only that, they're, they're going to be slammed, I think on Thanksgiving. If, yeah, for those that don't have Buffalo, no, that don't Minnesota, have Buffalo or yeah. for those that, that want to yeah, say, I mean, whatever, I mean, basically, basically half the people have taken Minnesota and, and what's, and what is going to happen. Um, I was talking about with, with Frank is oh, there's some of these 125 people, they're going to not take Buffalo in eight or nine because their plan is to play them on Thanksgiving. But they're going to get to week 11. And at the current spreads, if they don't change, if they don't have Baltimore, they're going to be looking at having to drop down to a four or five point favorite. Like New England or whatever. Or changing their mind and taking Buffalo in 11 and, and then just taking Dallas or Minnesota on Thanksgiving. So, and if so, they have the and if they have the nerve, just go go to New England. So, so the the, what I, the point I was making then, I mean, if you get Dallas going to get burned some this week, and going to get burned to some degree, if not slammed on on Thanksgiving, I think having the low owned Dallas at fourteen is is pretty elite. You know that that's that's the only thing that I would that I would say. I agree, and that's why I think I think that's why I think the best is only one Dallas. Is is but, and, and, and and obviously, you know. Uh, hold on one second. I got to pause this one. Second. So again, I guess the same thing I would say before that that as long as you have Buffalo available for fourteen, then then no problema. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, uh, so when, I guess that's when, fine then. Um, yeah, I mean, when, when we do our mapping, we have two entries left. We do our mapping assuming when we're talking about when we talk about a week, we just assume we're going to have both those entries. I know we won't, but right. you got to you got to plan for the best case scenario. And the best case scenario is the if we make it to Thanksgiving, I think the best pick is take one Buffalo and one New England. Um, but you know, and that would leave one Buffalo for fourteen, and that's something that we discussed. Yeah. But when you sort by week fourteen, we're going to be in better shape than most would without Buffalo and Dallas because the map that we created. In, for this scenario, we would still have all of our Kansas City, all of our Minnesota, and actually all of our Philadelphia. We're, we're, we're playing, you know, we, we, we created this map. I said, if I, I told them, if we take Dallas, I would prefer not to use Philadelphia um, because then we're going to, we're, we're probably going to end up wanting to cave and take Baltimore yeah. in 11. And if you do that, you, you, you're, a little, you're a little light in the bag. For 15 through 17 if you only yeah. have Kansas City so I, I I told them I will take Dallas but if we take Dallas we ha I want to I want to hold on to Philadelphia so we had some other plans for so some, nine and so, 10, so, so 10. some some combination of Dallas X um like Dallas and one, and one of the one of those one of those bow wows that we talked about we talked about earlier like, correct and, and and I you know I would I would I would prefer to sort and just take the highest favorite I, I would just hate to like give up five percent win percentage just you know you know being cute um you know but, but i also got to really think about how many people do we really think will drop um you know if, if i was to be told nobody would drop well then i would i'd put both entries on you know the lower teams and and just yeah right. and, and, and just go for it just be happy you know you lose if, if, if one of them only one gets through but the advantage that you gain when you get both through is, is, is really substantial. Um, the, the, the important thing that I keep reminding myself is there's no path to victory that allows you to take seven point favorites or better the rest of the way at the current spreads with my teams. And, you know, I, I told you, I think there's at least four entries that are better than mine. Remind, um, remind, remind me of Thanksgiving. So, so, so the, the options are, da are Dallas Giants, Buffalo, Detroit, and what's the third game? Uh, Minnesota, New England. Minnesota, New England. And, mm -hmm. and the Minnesota, New England game, 
um, is probably going to be a Minnesota minus five or six or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. um, so you're thinking of either going dog on New England or – or I guess Buffalo. You know what I mean? Buffalo. Or, yeah. Or Buffalo. We, uh, if I were to rank them, I have, Buff I have Buffalo being uh, the best picks, probably New England, and then and then Buffalo. It's just hard when you know Buffalo's now, be a fourteen what, what, point what, what, per, what percent of Circa has Buffalo available right now? Um, eighty. Three percent, one hundred and four out of one hundred and twenty-five. So here, here's one thing I would say is that and this, we learned this lesson again last year. I, mean, I talked about this. Is, is last year the whole the whole we, the whole year I was saying, okay, Dallas give me the biggest favorite on on Thanksgiving, and then I started thinking to myself, I started to overthink. I said, you know what? People are not going to just jam them because they know that they're going to be too popular, and they're going to they're going to fade and whatever it is. Then we got there. Literally eighty percent of the people took Dallas. Correct. Yeah. So 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 Buff Buffalo will will whoever save Buffalo until then, and you could and listen, you can get to twelve, you can get to Thanksgiving really easily without playing Buffalo. Um, as unless, as long as you have, I didn't even think about this. It's not. No, I mean, it, it, it's easy, but then you're you're completely bleeding out your back end. Um, well, I mean, I guess people, some people, more people played Cincinnati, I guess, in this pool than others, I suppose. Um, yeah, they're, they're like about half of it. They're okay. less than half, half Cincinnati available. So yeah, you, you got to assume that they'll all take. So, so we're, so Buffalo is going to be of the, here's my question of the people that have both Buffalo and Dallas available in mm -hmm. Thanksgiving, how many of them, right. Play Buffalo. And save Dallas for fourteen, as opposed to playing like Dallas or something like that, and saving Buffalo for fourteen. Uh, I I I think what happened. I, I mentioned this, but I, what I think happens is they take they take Dallas now. Okay. The plans to take Buffalo on Thanksgiving. Right. And they and get to week eleven. Later? They but they get to week eleven, and they realize they don't have Baltimore. And they take Buffalo in eleven instead. I, 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 I there's going to be That's some of that for sure. Okay. You know, because you, you, what, what if uh, you know, right now, all things being equal, the, the entries are worth fifty thousand. Right. Um, let's let's say let's say one team loses. Let's say we let's just, let's just say it gets to a hundred cap. Let's say we lose half the field in the next few weeks, in eight, nine, and ten, we lose half the field. You get you're sitting there with a hundred k entry, and you're looking and you're staring at Thanksgiving the next week, and you have Buffalo and Dallas um, available, or you have right. Buffalo and Minnesota. I know what people are going to do, they're, and it might even it might even be plus EV. But you know they're, they're going to take Buffalo. They just are because they're not, they're not going to want to drop from a fourteen point favorite as it shows here down to like a five, right? Um, and and really, it, it's uh, it's the mentality of like hanging on like in poker to a short stack and right you know you'd rather just you know I mean, in hang fairness, around it really a isn't longer. too much of a difference either between that buffalo 12 and 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 dallas 14 as opposed to dallas 12 yeah i guess there is a big difference. well uh, i mean like the the upside is so if, if you go buffalo then uh, Minnesota. If you add up the point spreads, let's just say it's fourteen five. You're a, you're a nineteen point total favorite. If you go the other route, if you go the other route, it would be like uh, you're, you're taking a um, a five point favorite in eleven to, to take Buffalo in twelve. It's going to be the same. Right. But I, I just the I mean I I I think you know how I feel that. When it comes, even if it was presented the same exact scenario, right? It, it's more fun to be in longer. Yeah, um, no, absolutely. And, and 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 I'm and I'm a I'm a fish for that. I'm a fish for that too. I, 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 what what's the know. um what's the second team in twelve? Uh, Miami. I forget for the main for the main slate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I because again, I stopped. I stopped handicapping circuit after I was out. I forgot. What yeah, I, I mean the main the main slate in twelve is incredible because. The the Buffalo and Dallas they're the two two of the best spreads that week. And, but you use Miami and in one entry, right? 
Yeah. So, it, and this, this is what, this is why, I mean, and you use, wait, problems. I'm just looking at 12. You use San Francisco already, I presume. Correct. Mm -hmm. So your second pick in 12 is tricky. It's, that's pretty obvious if you, if you, if you look at it, who I'm going to yeah. take. Okay. I, I mean, I'll, I'll I'll just say it. I'm gonna, well, we'll see. We'll, we'll see if you can guess first. Well, I forget who everybody who everybody had. But the Jets are look look pretty pretty. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna. I mean, I'm gonna take the Jets. Yeah. I, I mean, or the Colts, I guess, but probably the Jets. Well, I'd rather say the Colts for eighteen if possible. But yeah. yeah. Um. So you can't get the best. You can't get the best of all worlds. You can't get everything um, right. And uh, I'd rather be more aggressive up front just to get it over with. I, you know it's. It, it's it's a lot less it's a lot less painful losing earlier than it is later when the results the same. You want to play you want to play the best you can, but you know when I was going through my uh, at a moment uh, the other night when I was looking at my entries, almost every one of my remaining entries starts started with New Orleans in Week One. Yep. Uh, well, well that's the only team that won. <laughs> they were three. Well, they were three percent to win at one point in the fourth right, quarter. Right. And you know, and, and I meet like last year. I loved my picks. Um, you know, I was out right away. I took I took five teams across all my stuff. I took three in circa, lost all three of them. They're all three four point favorites. I I laid off Carolina because they were going to be five to ten times more picked as a five point favorite than all the three and fours. And I love Carolina. You and I talked about this in like the preview show last year. I love Carolina, but I'm not taking a team that's ten times more picked, and they're only one one. You know, their spread's only one better. So I, I took all those other teams, and I got wiped out. And you know, you, you, I, I wasn't able to see what it could have let you know led up to. Well, this year I saw it. I took New Orleans, and their season's panning out how I hoped it would have, and it allowed me to lead, you know save all of these other teams. Um, so. I'm we're never I'm never taking any Buffalo in that pool. I'm never taking any Philly. Um, it's a matter of if I'm you know how much Dallas we're gonna take of the two entries, and then if if we drop, you know which one we're gonna take because there there is even a decision there um, whether it's Atlanta or somebody else. Well, obviously, um, it's a decision there. I mean, you know, I I uh, I, I think you might um, not to slant you, but I I think you might overestimate. Um, how much you want to, you should save Atlanta for 13. Um, uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm again, you, I, uh, actually that's not, yeah, no, I, I, to, I, I, I was I about to I, say I you have to have somebody else in 13, but maybe, maybe not. Remember we, we use the Rams, right? Um, yeah. you, you don't want to, you, you don't want to use that. Well, you're going to use Dallas, whatever it is, Minnesota, Minnesota, yeah, so yeah. but you, you like I'll to use those. You like to use that maybe. You like to get maybe for Christmas. It's not Christmas. Um, maybe for I will not be two in Christmas, Minnesota. No, so I, I have Green Bay, but Green Bay is Christmas or Week eighteen or Week right. thirteen. Right. Um, I, I I can do Minnesota as long as I have Philly because oh, maybe, maybe you're right for considering that all these other picks are are pushable to 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 the to those key weeks maybe and maybe, if you right. keep maybe looking, for, I'm, maybe I'm for circa atlanta is 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 somebody to work worth worth having in your pocket just in and, case and, and, and if you look further down the giants in las vegas we we have our riskier weeks for like nine and ten right. if we take dallas like we're, we're considering taking dallas and then just going for it nine nine and ten right and that would, that would involve taking the giants and taking las vegas Right. Because you, you just, I just don't want to get to week thirteen and have to take Green Bay when they are a top three pick right now on 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 Christmas because of their low availability. They suck, but their their availability is going to be the lowest. Remind, remind me the Christmas games again. Um, it's the Tampa Bay, Arizona. Yeah, Arizona, uh, Indianapolis, and uh, well, Chargers. Uh, Green Bay, Miami, and Denver, and the Rams. So it's one of those four teams. You have, you mm -hmm. have to pick one of those eight teams. And I've already used two of them. Plus, uh, yeah, but... plus Tennessee, I guess. Um, no, T Tennessee's in the main slate. That's what I meant. I mean, you got to use the second team. You know, you. Use... Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But that, but but that, that's the thing. Tennessee's going to be super chalk. Right, 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 right. So that, I'm not, you know, I mean, I'm not going to do it. Uh, but it, it's fun because, you know, 
part part of playing these is is you know the in between watching the games. That part's painful yeah. actually. Um, I I enjoy this part of it because you know in the end I know I'm not going to win. It's like when I played the main event last year, I knew I wasn't going to win, but I fucking made day five and it was incredible. And I really started to slow down and really take in the moments. Listen, like listen, I'm like, listen, listen, listen. You know, you know, that, and that's what I'm doing here. Listen, you, you, listen, you play the best. Here's you the reality. Can. The reality is 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 what I told you last week. Okay, is that you are going to win. Okay. And you are going to play next year. All right. Both of those the, the, things are, I am telling you, they are happening. The, 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 sec, the second thing is probably very true. But the first one, I, I just have a different philosophy. I, I enjoy the process of, of playing. I get it. And I get I, it. So you know what? So so you can enjoy the, 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 you can enjoy the process. And me having nothing to do with your entries, I'm allowed to just say whatever the hell I want. And, yeah, that's and true. I'm going to say that you're going to win. I mean, one of the things is that, my 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 partner, I was talking the other day, and he said, "Oh, th- this guy's this entry, this entry name." And I'm like, "Yeah, you know." And he said, uh, "He says I was actually rooting for him a couple of years ago without even realizing who it was. I think a couple of years ago, maybe he played like one of the underdogs on Thanksgiving or something like that, and then mm-hmm. he uh, yeah and, and got Washington there. So, football team. So, so he remembers. So he remembers that particular entry, you know, without even knowing who it was. That's so, cool. So uh, so you, oh, you're definitely winning. I'm, I'm not even the slightest. Well, there were, you know the. This, I, I've built this incredible. My partners and I have built this incredible spot. So I, I, I don't think about that because you lose, it's going to feel like catastrophically. Uh, well, that's the beauty terrible. of it. Like I said, I can, I can say that, whatever I want you, because I, I have no emotional attachment to it. So I, well, I, I, can, I can say whatever I want. If, and if you lose, I'm out. Big deal. If you say it, then you lose. Then you're like, you're going to kill yourself. I get it. I get it. I, I do want to move on to one of my other yeah. pools because it, it, Go it. It, it's going to be very different. In the because uh, this might speak to some of the people listening. Um, and the one pool, there's 28 left, and I have three entries. Um, okay. I don't. I'm not taking Atlanta in that pool. Yeah, I'm. I'm just, I'm just not going to. Um, I, I'm going to play ultra conservative in that pool. I haven't even put a minute of thought into it yet, or, or research, or mapping. But I, I have to think there's no reason to go outside the top three teams when you have three entries of the 28. Um, and so almost definitely going one of each or two Dallas um, and one Philly or something like that. But you know, d- just depending on, and that's why I think that's correct for that pool. If everyone's going to take those teams, I'm not losing, you know, that much when, if the right one loses. Um, and uh, I will wait till another week, not to take a chance, but to try to outpick somebody. I'm not going to, I'm not going to try to outpick anyone this week when I've got three of the 28 entries. Um, and then the other pool, we have double, we have doubles in 12. Um, and I have extremely strong entries in that one. I, I, I'm like, I, I have Cincinnati in two of those four with all the other teams I mentioned earlier and Tampa Bay and Green Bay. And, uh, if, if, if Tampa Bay and Green Bay figure some of this shit out, those are still great teams to have with doubles in two of Tampa Bay's weeks and, 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 and actually in two of Green Bay's as well. So, or, or week 18. Um, so I'm, I'm a little unsure about what I'm going to do in that because, you know, the most value to be gained in the double picks pools is the double, is the double pick weeks. Um, you know, you, you just lay off the right game and that team loses, bam, you know, 75% of pools out. And I intentionally used up all Miami in that pool. I, I, I don't want anything to do with Miami that week. Um, I don't, you know, if the spread's 14, so be it. But, um, yeah, my, my fish analysis. Uh, Houston, it, Houston's uh, pesky. Houston is pesky. Yeah, my, my, my fish analysis was, listen, I, I want to get my Miami out of the way because Tua sucks. Um, I mean, look, he looks so good in the first quarter. And yep. I text Jesse and said, look how great he looks. And he's fucking terrible the rest of the game. Yep. You know, he, I don't like the word injury prone, but he's one more concussion away from sitting out the rest of the season probably. Um, or being forced to sit. Um, so I, I felt like using them up front because you might not be able to use them later. And then if you get there and, and they're a great pick, everybody's going to take them on, in doubles, and I'm going to fade them anyway. Um, so I, I'm probably going to try to play conservative in, 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 uh, in the weeks, and eh, probably this week and uh, – um, And 10, probably 10, because I'm just, I'm just going to save my Philly uh, for week 10 when the most people have already used them. They'll, you know, mo- a lot of people have already used them. They'll use them in, they'll use them in eight. They'll use them in nine. Just, you know, 
if you're if you're deciding between two teams, just use them as late as possible, and then the more you know, more people can use them. That, that's just a real, that's just a good rule of thumb, and that's that's just how I'm going to play Philadelphia in that pool. Um, and then I'm just going to get to 12 and 13. I have some really good separation picks with Tampa and Green Bay. I'm going to hope that they become good. You know, they're good plays. I'll probably play them anyway. And I'm going to hope that Miami loses. Um, I'm going to hope San Francisco. I mean, really, my, the pool for me is week 12. I don't have San Francisco. I don't have Miami. They're, they'll be heavily picked teams um, because it's doubles. And if one or both of them win, I'll lose. I, uh, I, I'm in great shape. And that, that, that's what I'm going to play for in that one. To, to give me to give you guys a good idea of like how ridiculous the thing that I just said was. So, um, and you got to play Survivor like long enough to understand it. So we we've gotten through like so many minefields this 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 year, right? Oh my goodness, we got through so many minefields this year. And 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 Mike, for example, in the circle pool, like has this incredibly you know two two I think pretty strong entries, whatever. And 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 I'm I'm sitting here saying that that like he's gonna win. We've gone through seven picks, and he might need twenty to win, <laughs> to win. Yeah, you know, no, I, that, yeah. that's how that's how hard it is to to, to get through this <laughs> stuff. Um, but I actually I actually don't think it's going to go the distance. Right, I I, I, I actually right. don't. I, and, and, and I then, did two then, weeks ago, but I don't think it will now. And then sometimes you know you, you're in a small enough pool where I just sit there counting my money after week seven. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes that happens too, you know. But but uh, before before I forget, can you go? Can you go to week one results on Survivor Grid? Maybe. Yeah, click on the on the top week one. Oh yeah yeah. Okay. And then uh, sort by biggest favorites, and then look at Philadelphia. So uh, I don't know what the actual pick percentage was for each pool, but you know Philadelphia. The reason I did not take them is this is this is one of, one of their better games at the start of the season. Now, my partner loved Philly. You know, he, he had high hopes for them. Um, and again, we're not we weren't he wasn't trying to necessarily predict how well they were going to do and handicap their season better than the bookmakers. But one thing that did st- stand out to me and was enough to convince me never to pick them was the potential their schedule had if that came to fruition. Right. And, I, and I really did look at it. We looked at 8, 9, and 10 like, man, if they do fulfill that, look at the teams they're playing in 8, 9, and 10. I mean, that is really, really attractive. We literally, him and I literally talked about this prior to the season starting, that there was a lot of potential in the middle of the season and at the end. And it's really cool that, you know, that came to fruition because now we have, we have a really big advantage uh, in, in circa. What is it like? Yeah, I mean, 62% of the people have them left, uh, but we also didn't take Baltimore. I mean, ba- you know, Baltimore was the, they were the biggest, were they the biggest favorite week one? Yeah. They, yeah, were, they were the most popular team. Too. They're the most popular team. I don't, I still don't understand how that's even possible because you look at their map too, not, not the same potential, but for me, if a team's going to fulfill well, no, listen, listen, don't, don't forget, like at the beginning of the season, you have like, you have all, all the people don't know what they're doing in there. And they, you know what they do? Remember at the beginning of the season, they were, everybody was going to play against the Jets every week. You know, that, that was what everybody was saying. Yeah, The Jets are going to be 0-16. We're just going to play against the Jets. I know, you know, I know Lamar Jackson. He, they're a big favorite. Let's go. You know what I mean? That's, that's basically what people were doing. It, it, it still is surprising that the, the, they end up being the highest when, you, right. you, you know, there's there's some other teams. Because, you know, Baltimore, they had, you know, the end of the season for me is the most attractive because yeah. if anything, I want to I want to hope that I have the, the absolute best teams available. And, and, you know, this time it worked out and it came true. And it might have last year. I just last year I just lost every single game. And I, and I, I might have been wrong, but right. you have to you have to have some type of plan. Um, you know, for certain stages of the pool. Because it, 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 the only thing that you know for certain is once you take a team, you cannot use them again. So you really want to look. And that, that's why you and I talked about Atlanta for a few minutes. I talked about my partner for like 10 out of an hour today, an hour and a half about Atlanta. Because, and that, and that seems really crazy, but they kept popping up. If, if, if we're going to, because of the extra picks, even though it's two, 
you, you know, if you want to back end the best teams, you've got to take somebody else. And Atlanta, and Atlanta's name popped up uh, three times total um, before week 14. Um, you have to look at all those angles because you don't want to, you don't want to get to a week and have, you, 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 I mean, we have like three or four okay options, maybe, but it's a lot better than having one option. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, 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 we yeah, might not take it away at Don't give nice yourself to too many options. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But a lot of them you can audible off. Like, you know, right. the problem with Dallas is I, I'm still on board with you for, you know, week 14. I, I am. No, but, but like you said, I mean, like as long as you have one of them available, Buffalo or Dallas, I think you're. Fine. I think you're. Well, fine. but no, but again, if if we're planning to have Minnesota and Philly and possibly right. Baltimore there, we don't need to have Buffalo or um, Dallas. But it's hard. Most people aren't going to be able to have those teams there. We do, so it becomes you know a viable option for us. The key is to have options that you can you know you can trade off um you 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 know if you have a team that toward the end of the season they got one standalone game and they're a 10 point favorite that you know that's that's great but what if you know you're you're almost holding out just for that but if 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 there's if there's some weeks before and after that you can you can you can audible and take that team earlier and you know these teams that have multiple options baltimore kansas city minnesota you know, you, you have five options after Thanksgiving to take these teams, like each, and that makes it a lot. It makes it a much better team to quote save when you have a lot of places you can you can put them in. All right, so let's just uh, recap again. And again, I told told you guys at the beginning this is what we're going to end up doing. You know, it's uh, we're just you know, just our our there are just less teams, and there's just, the the advice is going to be way too individualized for people to get, but. Just to review, I would think that we should that all you got that no none of you should play Buffalo. Um, I think that uh, we're a little bit different. I think Mike and I on Philly. I think I think I, I don't mind Philly as a play. Um, I think I think that the EV is something to be respected. Um, as long as, as listen, as long as you have options, you know, as long as you have something, you know, in ten and in and in nine and all this stuff. Like if you burned Cincinnati, you burned other stuff into. I don't know. It's just. Obviously, playing Philly makes it a little harder on yourself, but uh, I, I don't mind that. I'm a little less on on Dallas than uh, than than and Mike only because again, I happen to have burned Buffalo. Uh, so so for yeah. me, I can't, I I literally in my opinion I can't play them. If you have Buffalo available still, then yes, Dallas Dallas is reasonable, and I I have Atlanta as the best of the um of the uh, of of the Bow Wow stock, so to speak. Um, if you wanted to do that, um, my, my partner likes, by the way, he likes your pick, not your pick, but he, he likes, he likes Seattle, uh, more than Atlanta, but, but he, he likes it more from a, from a, he's more of a handicapper and start, you know, he, okay. he happens to like them in the game more than he likes Atlanta. He's actually from Atlanta too. So he's got all kinds, all kinds of biases are playing into this pick, <laughs> but, but he's actually, he's really super sharp. So, so, uh, I'm probably a good idea to bet Seattle. Um, and that's, 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 that's probably a, a pretty decent summary. Um, but let me get mine. Let me get mine really quick. I, I like if you have Buffalo, don't take them. Um, let lay them lay them down in 11, 14, or sixteen. Um, if you if you have Buffalo, um, if you have Philly available, uh, ten. I'd use them in ten, or I'd hold them till fifteen. I'm speaking generally because obviously I don't yeah. know what you have, but this I think this is going to apply to a lot of people, um, regardless of your situation. If you don't have Dallas available, you messed up. Um, there right. was no reason to take Dallas at any point. If you took Dallas last week, that was a big no-no. Um, you know, and I don't, I don't, even, I don't know how they were taking uh, prior to last week. But, but if you do, but but just so you know, if you did take Dallas last week, I mean, then then I think you now have to play something like it. You know what I mean? Like you have, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, and, and that's what I was going to say next. If you don't have Dallas, like I would just play Dallas. They're going to be super chalky, um, very highly picked. But in a standard single pick pool, you don't need them for twelve. You don't need them for thirteen, probably. In fourteen, you can just drop to somebody else. 
you you at least know what you're getting. Um, you know, Dak is playing, but you know, again, not predicting the future, but I think he's much more likely to get knocked out for the season Pat, than Patrick Mahomes. So, you know, if it comes to you know, a little bit of uncertainty. I'd rather just play, you know, play Dallas when I know what I'm getting than hoping for something, you know, six, eight weeks in the future. Um, if you somehow don't have Dallas, you, you have, I think you have to draw. I would not take Buffalo or Philly at all. I would take Philly before Buffalo and I would never take Buffalo. Yeah. Um, and uh, just do not take Minnesota. Don't take Miami. Don't take Cincinnati. Um, and don't take Indianapolis. They probably suck, but you're more likely as of right now to want to take Indianapolis sometime in the future 12, 18, than, like that. Than, than, than Seattle or Jacksonville. Um, so, again, I think Indianapolis is going to – their season more or less could be over. They could be the worst they, – they, they could be the worst team in two weeks. You, you know, they more or less they, – they literally said Matt Ryan's not playing again this year because of the way his contract's written. So – if this guy, if this Ellinger guy sucks, uh, they're going to suck the rest of the year. Yeah. Um, so do me a favor. Um, at some point after picks lock for circuit, just let me know who to root for. Um, yeah. And uh, I know I'm rooting for Dallas at least one, but let me know if I need to root for any of the Bow Wows. Will do. All right. Good luck, everybody. Bye-bye. See you. See ya.